Well, I'm going to go out on the road to post this flyer around Homer in hopes to find the, the original owner, which I don't know his name, but he allegedly is in Homer. So it's going to be a road trip. I'll take you along. Spend a night out about halfway to Homer. This used to be one of our favorite camping and fishing spots when I was a kid, Jim's Landing. Can't even fish here anymore, they've closed the waters. Bank rehabilitation, they, they call it. Can't even camp here anymore. Bit of a disappointment. But been here so long we used to run power boats in this river and they've been closed to power boats for almost 30 years 25 years something like that but anyway I can't even go fishing here anymore without getting busted but I guess there's other places we might actually have no rain for part of a day well here's one of the little Russian Orthodox churches that dot the landscape here in Alaska. This is in Nadelchik. Heading down to Homer. Should be down there another hour or so to start posting flyers on my TR3. Looking for the original owner from the 50s. Supposedly is there and still alive. This is old Nadelchik down here. And yeah, you have a view of that over there. Another volcano over there. They like to blow every now and then, Augustine and Reed out, just to let us know that they're. Yeah, come on, get there we go. Just to let us know they're still out there. There's the famous Homer Spit. I'll be headed for lunch. Post some flyers. Hopefully, can find the old owner of the TR3. Well, running out on the Homer Spit. Go get some lunch. It's sunny for a little while today, but that's probably blowing in. place to come out to but it's sure touristy anymore but I still have to come out here I don't come to Homer very often so go get some fish and chips enjoy the view this house here is where the eagle lady lives or used to live I don't know if she's still there or not meets the eagles in the winter time Where else do you expect me to eat when I'm down here trying to track down my British sports car? I'll be in the uh, upper deck having lunch. Fish and chips, of course. All British all the time, I guess. Well, just finishing up my lunch. Sitting in the London bus, or English bus. 
listening to Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. How about that? <laughs> Okay, I finally found the local radio station here in Homer, the public station. They've got the flyer and they're passing it around right now. And who knows, maybe uh, somebody will know something. Well, this is a hard place to find. It doesn't exactly look like a radio station. <laughs> well, Thursday evening, Spring Creek out of Whittier, I'm mean, out, of, out of Seward. And I have the whole entire place to myself, all alone. Me and the eagles. The eagles have been catching fish, and I haven't been. <laughs> so far, I'm getting skunked. But from what I've seen around today, I'm not the only one. But met, met interesting people. That's always fun. Probably head towards Whittier, or maybe even tonight, if I don't catch anything. All right. Later. Well, here's one of Seward's uh, noted attractions, attractions, I guess you could call it. This is the tail race comes off their generating system. Every now and then it washes off this bridge. <laughs> but it hasn't got far to go to the ocean. It's right there. So far fishing's been a bit of a bust. But I got a few more days. Well, this is... Portage Lake. I remember when these glaciers I used to come down into this lake here. Up there a little bit, a little more over there, and there. The visitor center is just around the corner. We used to chip ice off the glaciers to, that floated over there to for our coolers to go fishing. And now you came and touch a piece, it's illegal. There's some more up there. All around. Now well, there's the road into the tunnel. Okay, here we go. Hold on, I gotta grab another gear. Sorry. the darkness, well, sort of. Stay off the tracks. It's slippery. I don't get to be the first coming in this time. When, there, when there's a tour boat in there, it dwarfs the town. <laughs> Over 
over there, part of the harbor. Yeah, the moment I get there. Now, well, now we're in Whittier. Most of the town lives in that one building, the baggage tower. And all the way over there is the old hospital. Uh, basically, Whittier was set up as a a uh, place for in World War II for the president to come and it was basically an enclosed city it had everything it needed with no outside help that building there is the hospital it had a bowling alley in it a movie theater in it the first uh, uh, elevators in Alaska were in that building and right now it's all boarded up I snuck through it a few times it's kind of interesting and eerie all at the same time but uh yeah, it's Whittier. Mainly just a boat harbor and a place for all the, the rail traffic. This is where a lot of our freight comes into Alaska. It's an open deep water port year round. So trains come in up on flat barges and are taking all of Alaska for the freight. And just coming up on the old hospital building. There's a road behind it where I go to see if I can catch some silvers. Been talk of renovating it, making it into apartments, but so far that hasn't happened. It's a, definitely a big building. They really got it gated up now. I used to be able to get into it pretty easy. Park my car in the uh, uh, garage in the back. But not anymore. It's really thick concrete, but boy, it's sure old. Well, just having lunch at my favorite seafood place, pretty much in Alaska. Barley's. We normally don't hear the motorcycles, but in the van today. She also drives a van again. <laughs> so, they closed down here in a couple more weeks. But glad I got in here to get my lunch. Okay, this is the first time I've been waiting for a train to come through. And it sounds like it's just about here. for my road trip starting to think about how I'm going to attack this body with what to start with anyway I know I'm going to reinforce it the whole thing square but this back end I think is drooped down because the, the mounts are gone basically there's nothing really there broken loose from the frame and looking down on the body this way you can see little buckles I'm sure the body's buckled a little bit so I'm wondering if it's going to be worth replacing this back section like I've got cut off the other Triumph and getting it squared up and on the frame right or if I should start with the the sills any thoughts on that I uh, not certain which way I'm going to go about it yet, but I'm going to pull the top off this weekend, the windshield frame and some of the dash and everything, get all that out of the way. So get down to the meat of the matter, or lack thereof. <laughs> 